You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be doing predictions for the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Yes, pay-per-view we're actually looking forward to. Relatively speaking, yes. Yeah, so um, there's a possibility it'll bomb. No. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Because, again, usually the ones that we think are going to be bad are good. So we could be very disappointed. It's we'll true. Say. It is very true. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start it off with... The uh, announced pre-show match? Yes. Um, <laughs> Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Obviously, that's going to be a, a running uh, theme. theme. Um, but this is going to be the tag team version where we have... Wasn't even necessary. No. Didn't need to do this. No. Um, you literally scraped the bottom of the barrel for this. Yeah. The captains, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Revival, the B-Team, the Ascension, and Lucha House Party. <laughs> versus the Usos, the New Day, the Club, the Colognes, and Sanity. So, are all three members of Lucha House Party going to be on the apron? I, probably not. <laughs> I would Why met- were they in the Battle Royale, then? Hmm. Because it doesn't really matter as much in a battle royal. I guess that's true, because that's actually your odds are probably worse with three people. I wouldn't say I mean, worse. I guess, I guess it's about the same then. Yeah. Anyway, um, as I was saying on our podcast, there's no way Team Raw wins. You have two no. actual, <laughs> there's two actual tag teams against eight not tag teams, or eight less than legitimate tag teams. Yeah, no. So... Yeah, any any team that has the new day or the, and the Usos. The Usos faced what the bar last year. Yes, was that that was the, the that was the match. SmackDown yeah. match. Yeah. Um, so I think if there's gonna be a sweep this year, mm-hmm. it will be this match. Yeah, so it's possible. Definitely possible. Yeah, because you could just put um, just have no. We have you just have um, Killian Dane eliminate everybody. <laughs> done there you go it makes sense there's Mm -hmm. literally no legitimate like threats on team raw it's scary oh no yeah it's bad yeah unless Um, bobby ruda ends up winning i guess that's true (laughs) or the b team (sighs) give them some life yeah all right so team smackdown is definitely going to win that i'm gonna have to agree with you there um i guess we'll one for smackdown go with the expected second pre-show match if they do one yes and that's the cruiserweight title match even though i think this match should be on the regular show we say it all the time doesn't mean anything (sighs) so yeah we got the champion buddy murphy Mm -hmm. versus mustafa ali yes where they had one of the best tv matches probably all of the year on 205 live when was this Mm, summer ish Oh, think? so it was a while ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was a Falls Count Anywhere or No DQ match. It was one of them. Interesting. But it was... Uh, it oh, was this a... is when he first came back, isn't it? Yeah. Buddy Murphy? Yeah. It might have been... Was it... It might have been a tournament match. Might have been. Yeah. For Maybe. like the number one contender or something like that. I don't remember. They... Possible. There's so much um, at 205 Live that I haven't caught up on. It's true. No. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say because it kind of felt like the only reason why Buddy Murphy won was because they were in Australia um but yeah. it, that doesn't really discredit him in any way mm. so i kind of no, would give, imagine that it makes sense for him to guy credit for reinventing himself oh, so absolutely. to speak and things like that mm-hmm. so my guess would be he'd probably retain i would think so i mean i still we still haven't seen the title on mustafa ali right no no and because cedric held it for what a year did he no no it was like uh no he had he beat, the wrestlemania he, yeah he beat ollie at mania yeah, because it was vacant yeah so he had it probably for like six months yeah it was something like that yeah um but yeah no, no i think buddy murphy's probably gonna hold on to it. it it makes the most sense yeah i mean they've had they had mustafa ali i think it was last week and he worked like an evolve event so they've been having guys they, they've been having nxt guys do the yeah. same thing mm-hmm. i would have liked to see him against um Buddy Murphy versus um, tell us his name, the European champion, uh, Pete Dunne. Yeah, that'd yeah. been cool. I, I I made the pitch last year for the same thing, had the cruiserweight versus the oh yeah, yeah the you European did say that champion. Yeah. Wasn't the Enzo the cruiserweight champion last year or was it? Uh, was probably it? yeah, because Neville was done at that point. Yeah, so that you know it just makes sense instead of having a title match. That's true. Kind of takes every like. Yes, obviously, time matches are nice, but it kind of takes it out 
of the the thing. Yeah, it's just like you have this random match thrown into everything that's completely themed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Or if or if you want to get really technical, I could have done NXT Champion versus NXT UK Champion. That would have been cool. But you have Takeover the night before. So. Yeah. So Which, that, uh, that would make a whole that looks to be very good as well. Um, War I think they're games. only doing four matches. Well, War Games was really long last yeah, year. Yeah, because I think originally it was supposed to be Cassius Ono versus Matt Riddle, uh -huh. but I think they're moving that to it's going to be taped yeah, before the before show. The That'll show. be for Wednesday's episode. That's what I heard last. I don't know if that's changed. It at makes all. sense. But um, all right, so we'll go with more matches we don't care about. How about the uh, AOP versus the Bar? Yeah. The big bar. Yep. So it's the tag team champion versus champion match. Yep. Um, I think the bar are going to win. I mean, well, when you, you take a look at their uh, their third party members, you have uh, Drake Maverick and the Big Show. That's true. <laughs> um, I mean, there's no reason that Sheamus and Cesaro shouldn't win, mm -hmm. but the Authors of Pain would gain so much more from winning. It's true. But then again, if you gain any momentum, it doesn't matter. Who are you going up against on Raw that nobody you need your It's like Brock Lesnar and the the rest of the roster. Yeah. It's just Well, because right that, now almost the, every title on Raw is just completely in its own mm -hmm. category. The IC titles not even thought about. Mm -mm. So, cuz with the tag teams, the only legitimate threats are technically dolphin drew right and they're but not they're even... not they're past it now yeah so they that really just... only won those titles out of coincidence if anything yeah, yeah it was the whole shield versus them mm -hmm. so um but yeah you make a good point but like i said they don't really gain anything yeah from... that's the problem so yeah, any momentum is I, yeah and, and the funny part is at the same time the bar doesn't really need momentum no 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 so no. So you're gonna pick the bar, right? Yeah. I'll just pick AOP, just to pick them. Yeah. So Be different before, and I know it really doesn't matter too much, but before we get any further, mm -hmm. who do you think's gonna win? What show? Overall? Yes. What show do you think gains the most from winning? Neither. <laughs> um, well, because it's it's interesting because right now, I mean. And it's always been that Raw has been the main focus. But True. next year, going into the, the whole Fox, Fox deal, TV SmackDown's going to be the focus. Most likely, yeah. Um, well, that's what they've been saying. Well, I mean, Raw is what, won the last couple of years? Or has it, or just the... I don't, I think that it's been more or less a wash. Yeah, you're right, because the year before... For last year, Raw won the, the men's, men's team, and match. then the year before that, SmackDown, Smackdown. won because you had that Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. And it's funny because he—I know I don't mean to keep going too far away, but think about how bad the tag team division is now. But think about how bad it was when SmackDown first went live. They when brought the Headbangers back, and a, a bunch Slater of and Rhino teams were the first champion. champion. <laughs> so I guess that's true. Yeah, the Ascension were on the show. They were all. Oh, I guess they're still in the same mix. So. Yeah, it's true. Um, we thought that they had a chance of winning the titles. At true. One point. Yeah. Um, I think it's kind of a crapshoot. Why do you have one team that you? Sp I think that team Smack or SmackDown probably will end up with more. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I I think that Raw probably should win. Yeah. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but because if Raw wins, Braun gets what he wants. Or what Oh yeah, that's he was right. Yeah, yeah, Stephanie. Yeah. And that's kind of I mean, what everyone they... wants to see. But at the same time, like Braun kind of seems like he's teetering out a little bit. Right. So, yeah, I guess that makes the most sense, yeah, yeah. than having Raw win it. Cuz I mean, like, outside of I mean, Lesnar holding the title again for a long reign. I mean, you have Braun and Drew. Mm -hmm. That's really it. I mean, there's got. no no promise for either of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, had Roman was still healthy, it would have been be, one thing. Yeah. Everything would be completely different. Right. Exactly. Everything. Yeah. Brock probably wouldn't have even signed a new contract. Nope. That's the only reason why he did, I, yeah. would, I would imagine. Probably. So, but whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So next we'll do do the women's yeah the women's team 
Mm-hmm. Um, Team Raw, which is Mickey James, Nia Jax, Tamina, T- Natalia, and Ruby Riot, with uh, Alexa Bliss as captain. Yes. For whatever reason. Dude, oh, this is the team that was missing clear? somebody. Team SmackDown. Uh, right, because Charlotte came off. Yep, so it's Carmella, Naomi, Sonya Deville, and Asuka, and, and someone else. Yeah. Mandy Rose. Nikki yes. Cross. Are we going to have like something on the pre Maybe that'll take place on the pre-show. No, I don't think so. Or are they these... just going to randomly pick somebody? No, they could be Nikki Cross, though. I guess. Why not? I guess, yeah, she's kind of done in NXT, right? Yeah, she got nothing going on. Or they'll have like uh, Kyrie Sane around for it. Or does she have a title? She has a title match. Yeah, she take over. So yeah, I don't think it'll be an NXT person. Yeah, so nah. my guess would be Kyrie Sane or somebody who hasn't been around in a while. That yeah. We yeah. Well, about. I mean, it depends what happens on Takeover. Could be Trish or Lita. They're on Raw technically. What does not matter? <laughs> it was so funny that we had. So... Oh, it's Brie Bella. Dear Lord. Um, Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Um, there was so much push with Trish and Lita, and then all of a sudden, gone. gone. I, gone like, I, like, that. like you said, you heard that they were going to stick around. Yeah, I figured they were done as well, soon it's as funny, all of a sudden we saw all those signs from we were handed them for yeah. the women's tag belts. I haven't seen them over the last couple or least like this week, yeah, maybe last week. I don't remember. They were teasing us, yeah, I which guess. Is fine. I, don't know. I don't care, yeah. Uh, um, SmackDown's gonna win regardless of who this fifth person yeah, is, yeah. I mean, it makes the most sense. You have nobody on Team Raw that's legitimate, except for I guess Nia. Yeah, she's gonna legitimately hurt somebody it, again. It's true. <laughs> so uh, SmackDown has more to gain here with mm-hmm. winning. Yeah. Because so. you're building new star. You know, I mean, like, depending on who they put in, because like Sonya gains from this, Carmella gains, Naomi, mm-hmm. and you have Mickey James, who's like forty, Tamina, who's forty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nia is Nia, already, who's already got a championship yep. title match. Natalia, yeah, who's basically just an enhas- enhancement, enhancement talent yeah, at this point, pretty much. And Ruby kind of is going to be bogged down by the Riot Squad for a while. I guess. I mean, every woman is going to suffer because Ronda is going to be the complete the focus. It's true. Yeah. So, but yeah, Team SmackDown. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with you on that. That's fair. <laughs> um. All right. The so, IC versus yeah. I was going to say the mid card belts. Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. Um, I, I would assume that Dean plays a role here, mm-hmm. which it was a surprise that he didn't make an appearance during Crown Jewel, but I'm guessing his whole reason for going over there was to be with Renee. Yeah. I guess, I guess you have to be accompanied by your husband or whatever. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, no, it makes perfect sense for Dean to interfere. Yeah, it cost him the match. Yep. Shinsuke wins. And, and Shinsuke and... could probably use a win. That's true. <laughs> over legitimate talent. Yeah. Instead so, of our truth Yeah, yeah, it's true. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Shinsuke as well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I guess we'll do Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte. Sure. That's fair. Um, well. All right. All right. All right, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was going to say, if Becky was in the match, I think Becky would win. But I don't think there's any way Charlotte beats Ronda. I, see, I don't... I, I mean, I would assume so. Because oh. that would probably... Few, fuel Becky more mm-hmm. to want to beat her, but does this change or transition into like a horsewoman thing? Because now Bailey and Sasha have nothing to do. Maybe they'll be at ringside. Yeah, it's possible. The see, and this is kind of the little problem with the fact that they had such a little time to build. Mm-hmm. This this could have happened last week with one week still to go. Right, and then some they could have built on top of it. It's so. true. But, because I'm guessing this was going to be their big marquee match for like Mania or something like that. The only thing I can think of is that at War Games, they're all there, mm-hmm. and that something. Yeah, because I don't even know what the women's match at War Games, and I'm sure it it's, has, it's, it's Shane versus Bailey. Yeah, but I, I thought there was some weird stipulation no to idea. it. But yeah. that, but my point is, they could be at ringside. It's true, and something could happen there, and then that'll mm-hmm. lead over into Survivor Series. But yeah, I, I would imagine Ronda wins. I, I would think so. And then that would just fuel Becky to... I mean, honestly, we could see Becky win the Rumble and then want to challenge Ronda. And you just build it that way. True. It's possible. You know? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that would just be interesting. I mean, this that's... But that's assuming that she loses the title. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. Because I, I still think that they probably would have had her vacated prior if they thought she was going to yeah. be out for a while. Mm-hmm. 
Um, that's kind of that's what they did with Naomi, right? Was when it? she had her leg injury and she wasn't going to be able to compete for a little so. while, yeah, but yeah. she was like back immediately. So they kind of yeah, jumped right. the gun a little bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to choose Ronda. It probably makes the most sense. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes the most sense. And then we got Brock Lesnar, the Universal Champion. Versus Daniel Bryan, the new WWE champion. I mean, this isn't going to main event the show? No, it's not. <laughs> I think if it was Roman versus AJ, it could have. Yeah. But not, not Brock versus... Shame. Yeah. Because they put on some good matches when AJ yeah. was just into his WWE career. Yeah. And that was when he was still a little... That was right after, what, the Jericho feud, right? Yeah. So, I think it was, what... Yeah, they they had nobody to plug in, but it worked out because I, it just sucks that the Usos weren't in the current Usos. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, because it was the the club versus right. uh, Roman, basically. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, Brock's gonna win most likely. I see. It's it's weird that they booked this match with Daniel Bryan as a heel. Like it. I mean, I obvi- I guess it was just the... to make it so that it wasn't. AJ versus Brock. Again. Yeah, I guess that's really what it was. It or didn't matter. They needed Daniel Bryan to have the title, and this seemed like the best time to do to it. To do it, yeah. Or they AJ. were probably going to pull the trigger at some point, but that, it, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like it kind of makes sense. Like they wanted a fresh match, and they were going this way mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. So that'd be my guess. I mean, how many people are going to boo Daniel Bryan? Nobody. I mean, every, I think it was more shock factor that he won rather than yeah. the mm-hmm. lack of. He's also facing a person that p- people legitimately dislike mm-hmm. again, uh, as opposed to AJ Styles, who everyone likes. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's all it's gonna be all Daniel Bryan, but he'll he'll put up a fight. But I think ultimately he will lose. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. That's so hard to bet against Brock Lesnar because mm-hmm. he's got Vince by the balls. That's true. And I would imagine he didn't sign up to lose. Yeah, I guess so. It's not against Goldberg. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was what? Survivor Series two years two ago. Two years ago? Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yep. All right. So we got Team Raw Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Bobby Lashley versus. Team SmackDown, which is The Miz, Shane McMahon, Rey Mysterio, Samoa Joe, and Jeff Hardy. All right, so before we get into this match, uh-huh. I meant to bring this up on our podcast. Sure. So do you think it's more possible than ever that we will get Lashley versus Lesnar now? Because, mm. I mean, had Brock never... I mean, he. I feel like it's another person to I guess he's a, against. a a possible opponent. Yeah. Could I, you imagine the promos with Paul Heyman and Leo Rush? I'm Both sure. men have, you know, I mean, yeah, it I feels like true. it would make sense. I mean, that could be a mania match. That's scary. I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't see uh, Bobby Lashley winning the Royal Rumble, but it doesn't matter. Somebody, hey, I guess if, if someone Miz wins Smack, the yeah, Rumble, sure. then what are I they going to do? Possible. Elimination Chamber again? Yeah, it would make sense. So, yeah, okay. I don't like it, but I can live with it. It sucks because that means that Brock Lesnar is going to have the title for six months. Are you really surprised? No, yeah. but I'm, I didn't say Cause it was... It, well, I mean, think about it. It was so focused on Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre, and then all of a sudden they kind of just went their separate ways yeah, just a I, little bit. I guess Braun has some heat backstage or something, I, I don't know. I, I guess. I don't know if that was necessarily one thing that yeah. was said. That Big fall from grace, though. It's true. But I think it was something that was said that, like, I guess he had shown up late a couple times or mm-hmm. things like that. There was a lack of etiquette, I believe, yeah. what was posted. But I think it just got blown up, and then one, you know, mm-hmm. one story went from this small to yeah, this small. So, but uh, but it, you know, it is very weird that he went. You know, they run so hot and cold with him. Mm-hmm. It's like all of a sudden, full steam ahead, and then uh, nothing. Yep. Um. So, I actually want Team Raw to win. I don't want Team SmackDown to win because... There's no reason for Team SmackDown to win. Yeah, because Shane already got his, I guess, 
jollies from winning the World Cup. <laughs> I guess so. I figured you were going to say because Samoa Joe's on the team. Well, that he too. Never, that's, never wins. It's <laughs> a good point. Um, but it you just have Braun and Drew McIntyre on the same yeah. team. Like honestly, if this team was composed a little bit different without Shane there, mm-hmm. and you have like AJ replacing Shane and maybe Randy Orton instead of Joe, that. Yeah. Even or with Ray, Raw or, being the team it has, right. it I would say Ray, Randy Orton replacing the Miz, but no, I I feel like the Miz kind of legitimizes himself. Yeah, yes, and you know he's crafty, so he'd find a way to win that kind How of thing. Time, what is the Randy a thirteen-time champion or something? I like think that? so. Yeah. Or is he twelve? And I think it's thirteen. Thirteen. Triple H fourteen. I think I think actually they're tied now. Oh, are they? Okay. So or. Maybe Triple H with his Royal Rumble win went to 14. Oh, yeah, that's right. That happened two years ago as well. <laughs> two years ago. Um, oh, it's amazing how much it's just... Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I want Team Raw to win. I think Team Raw will win because that advances storylines or as opposed to SmackDown really doesn't have anything mm-hmm. going on. All right, AJ's taking the place of Shane. Shane's going to reinsert into that SmackDown women's match so he can win that. That's that's almost as ridiculous as your Roman main eventing evolution wearing a wig. That was good. Which still doesn't make any sense because he had long hair to begin with. That's true. But uh, well, Shane's got to be inserted into every match. I guess that's true. Well, he does. He'll be at ringside. Remember when he was off SmackDown? It was good. It was nice. It really was nice. At least they don't have that second commissioner or GM or whatever you want to call it. What do you mean? Like when we had Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. What do you think Paige does? Yeah, but I mean, it, there's no struggle between the two of them oh you mean they're kind of separate okay i guess yeah that's what i just meant i was gonna say they're both there yeah but i mean they're not intertwined in the same Mm storyline that's what killed smackdown for a good chunk daniel bryan and shane mcmahon and kevin owens and Sami Zayn. how terrible was that and how long did it last it was bad it just wouldn't die yeah all right bad stuff so as it stands, I actually have Team SmackDown winning the night. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you have Team Raw. Sure. You have Ronda, mm-hmm. Shinsuke, Brock. Uh, Did you pick Brock? Yeah, I said I can't back yeah, bet Brock, against Brock. Uh, Team Raw mm-hmm. um, for the men's. You have AOP. Yep. So that's four. Yeah. So else you, you just have the tag team, yeah, the Smackdown. women's, and... Um, the, the mid card belt so yes so we both or you have raw and i have smackdown there smackdown. you go that works it's funny that the swing vote is the shinsuke versus seth match no it's the tag oh no we both picked that yeah. one yeah it's it's, it's the tag title. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah tag champion match it's true which is fine yeah it doesn't really yeah. matter it's true it doesn't make a difference actually none of this makes a difference to be fair yeah besides if that bronze stipulation comes into play mm-hmm it's true as we mentioned at the yeah. beginning, that it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as the raw men's one isn't like last year, where it was oh terrible. Oh, my God. Triple Shane H doesn't almost his, die. Yeah. Triple H with his terrible uh, pedigree on Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. It didn't even look like it. <laughs> yeah, and Angle is just... Gone. It wasn't there this week. No. no. His music played, though, so that's mm. something. Yeah. I guess. That was funny. Yeah. That's when, what, that, that's when the record scratch actually mm-hmm. made sense. It's true. I, it. I don't know why they do it the way they do it. Because they're dumb. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That's true. And they play the record scratch before. Yeah, All yeah. right, we're rambling on. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was our Survivor Series preview and prediction video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.